Hello and welcome. Try this problem out, give it a shot, and press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so what does this say? We, we have the absolute value of something that's less than uh, 0.02. .02. So the absolute value of something, let's let it rewrite it as just x for a moment. If it's less than a number, let's say c, this means the distance of this thing from 0, or just the distance, let's say, uh, or the, the value of it from 0, it, this is my number line is terrible. So that's a little bit better. Okay, sorry. So let's say we have a number line and here's zero. Here's the number C. And here's negative C. So if X is a, a number whose distance uh, is less than C, distance from zero is less than C, it can be any number from zero all the way up to C, not including C, or all the way over to negative C, not including negative C, because any number within this interval will have a distance less than uh, c is from 0. So for as a number example, we have, let's say, the absolute value of something x is less than 3. Well, that would just mean that the distance of x is a, is a number whose distance is less than 3 from 0. So here's 3, here's negative 3. x could be any number between negative 3 and positive 3. And if it is, its distance will be uh, less than 3 is from 0. So for example, if x is, let's say, 1, right here, about here, let's say x is 1. The distance from 0 to 1, right here, is less than the distance from 0 to 3. So the distance of this x value is less than 3. And any number within this interval works. And that also applies here. In this problem, we can just say that the distance of this thing is less than 0.02. So how do we reconcile all this? Well, what we're saying here in this interval is that basically x is between negative c and positive c. The same thing here, we're saying x is any number between negative 3 oops, and positive 3. It's in that interval. So here we can say that this absolute value of x minus 4 is between 0.02 and negative 0 0.02. And then we just solve for x. So to solve for x here, we add 4. We do it to every side. Keep this inequality balanced. And we get um, 3.98 less than x, less than 4.02. And we're done. Another way to think about this problem is to say, OK, the distance, um, the distance, uh, the distance uh, between 0 and this number has to be less than so I thought, well, one way to think about the distance between x and 4 from 0 is less than 0.02. So those numbers are from 3.98 to 4.02. They're both 0.02 uh, either above or below the number 4. So because you can think of uh, subtraction as a difference as well. So the difference between x and 4, that represented as a distance from 0, is less than 0.02. So what numbers, when you subtract them from 4, have a distance from 0 of less than 0.02 is these two numbers, numbers that are within 0.02 of x, uh, excuse me, of 4. All right, I hope this helped.